Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Reach uh, episode two, finally. Reach uh, episode two. When did we watch it last? Friday, right? Yeah. The first one. Yep. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Jinx. it's been it's been a little bit. Yeah. We sorry. got held up. Yeah. Sorry. Because you had to go get sick. I didn't feel great on Monday, man. I, that was it. I still worked. Just didn't want to see your ugly mug. Yeah. I noticed. <laughs> um, but now. Anyway. What, we we'll this catch one up. and three, and then four yeah, and then Friday. four comes out on Friday, right? We'll probably just end up watching three and then four on Friday, yeah, more than likely. Just get them out of the way, because I do want to be caught up, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. It's fun to watch it week to week after, like when there's not that many episodes, you know. Yeah, right, because it'll only be for five more weeks, right? Because if they keep it at eight, yes, it is eight, yeah. But uh, let's just watch it. Okay. I paid off the concierge. The ID media is checking in. Let's find that hotel. And them. I don't really know who you are. But you know. He's got to be connected to... T-1000. <laughs> Robert Patrick. Uh, yeah. Possible. Just a list of names, all starting with the initials A-M. I like O'Donnell's coat, but I don't like the material of it. The guy couldn't pull that off. But if it was like just a regular old like black, I'm thinking there's someone hell bent on taking out the special investigators. Denim material, like black bolt. Good. Looks good on him though. That one's like a little too fancy for me. More of a peacoat. So it is a peacoat. I know. I just <laughs> you know you normally wear with the collar <laughs> pop. The with your family. No one can ever find me. And... They were in our hotel rooms. Maybe to grab us and take us out. And like ours. That's bail for some reason. We need to try again to warn the others. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same as his. There's a black Pretty much. across the street, a couple houses down. How you want to play this? I'm gonna go introduce myself. <laughs> I was just gonna say he's gonna go tell him, "Hello." What's he think he's gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he kicked the air back. Oh, that's crazy that he was able to set that off. Oh my god. Hey, that's what you get for just following. Like the good old days. <laughs> yeah, you on the sidelines while I do all the work. <laughs> uh, fellas, this was his gun. Mm. NYPD. And don't look at me. You did all the work. Oops. <laughs> Match kick it so hard he sent the airbag off. That's so crazy. Gaetano Russo. Guy Russo. He's the investigating officer in Francis' homicide. I saw it in the files. And how did he get on your tip? Oh boy. NYPD saw the calls France made to you. When I called Sanchez in Orozco's office, voicemail was full. That's a bad sign. So it might not be a bad time to get out of Dodge, considering Cocky Balboa here does not set a lawman. Fine. We'll head down to Atlantic City. Yeah. See if we can find the guys. But first, we gotta check out of a hotel and find a more generic ride. You have to drive, drive right past us. Range Rover suit conspicuous. You're the reason we can't have nice things. Hmm. I haven't been to AC in a long time. I think the last time I was there was with you. <laughs> I've only been there like twice. So, yeah, probably. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. Was it a car accident? No, we just kicked the car. Oh, that's right, that's right. He's How working. How the hell did the airbag go off? <laughs> he kicked the car, then he pulled the cop out, and he knocked his dick in the dirt. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy's a beast. Time comes, I'm gonna need some backup. And you'll get it. But for now, you just stay on their asses. And go fuck this up. I love when he plays bad guys. Uh, fuck the air back up. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, fuck that, man. I don't want to fight that yeah, dude. No way. We can't run anything under our names. Oh, we drive around in a stolen vehicle and we just get pinched. I've got our solution. That was your undercover job. Mm hmm. Rachel? Oh, was that Dixon? How'd you know I was undercover? Considering the circumstances, you would have come right away. So, Franz. Yeah, and Swan, most likely. Sanchez and Roscoe are MIA too. Uh, okay, 
So we take care of business. You do not mess with the special investigators. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get in. SUV. I know. You need the headroom. <laughs> right into a flashback with the two of them. Good. Glad to see you're still here. See, I noticed that every time fuel went missing from the base, it was always after a specific flight. We'll never see 17's ferried Humvees back home to the States. I mean, it's a minor detail, but in an investigation, details matter. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's why he started oh, saying it. it. <laughs> yeah. Mine is yours. The excess fuel is being used to transport more weight than people realize is on the plane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something heavy and secret is being moved. Mm -hmm. exactly. Smart idea, to be Contraband, honest. Contraband, the Humvees, drugs, guns, stolen cash, all of the above. I don't know about you, but all this little things made me thirsty. I'll go celebrate. Will you buy me a drink? You know, he's going to say now. Wouldn't be appropriate. I got to keep working on these reports. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah. But again, excellent work, Dixon. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, numbers always tell the story. Just do it. It wouldn't have been a problem. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but not really. What about the list of AM names? It means nothing to me. I agree with you guys. It's got to be an alias. Maybe it's someone with a grudge against the 110th. We've arrested a lot of people. What about James They've Bob? gotten really good at making the, the outside of the fake cars look good, you know what I mean? Because he still looks so fake. Mm -hmm. it still looks a little janky, but way better than it used to. He owes me now. Pine Barrens. Hmm. About a million lonely acres. A lot like the spot upstate New York where they found France. They're headed towards Atlantic City, probably gonna try to find their missing buddies. Good. All in the same place at once. When you get there, take them out. <laughs> Copy that. You remember what I said about needing backup? I know some local talent. Well, bring in whoever you need. We'll cover the tab. I just want them dead by tomorrow. You hear me? Fucking dead. <laughs> oh, T-1000. You're all in trouble. Yeah, right? So your local town's gonna get wrecked. Yeah, it's a good shot. It is. It's not often we get to see Jersey on, on, in film. <laughs> I still can't believe he kicked an airbag. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Just like Francis office. And our hotel rooms. Am I the only one of us that doesn't have this photo? Got mine. Got mine. From the bookshelf. Hard to hang a picture on your wall when you don't have walls. True. So I could have kept it in my pocket. Yeah, he would have. Agreed. We have what the killers wanted. No. You two stay here. Both look like cops. That they what do. do you two look like? Not cops. Lady in the tramp. <laughs> that was pretty good. These guys say they're friends of Sanchez, want to talk to Molina. Take them back to the office. She's doing the books. I think this is like a... They're going to try and like... Yeah. Intimidate him. Yeah. He's going to have to kick the shit out of like seven people. Yeah. They're all like looking... Take your shit and get out of here now. They get that he's a different kind of guy, but our they're gonna get her. It's not the girl from the photo. Oh shit! <laughs> Idiots. We somehow got the <laughs> He's slapping him. Oh my god! God damn! Oh damn! Shot. <laughs> can't pick a fight and then tell them to wait <laughs> I love when guys get when they realize they're getting their ass from they're like all right that's it something could have gone wrong said he was working with Sanchez and Ross going some big security job broad shoulder bald guy 
No. He had hair scarred on his cheek. He wanted to know if Sanchez had left any kind of digital storage device. Oh, that was the dude that's yeah, been telling me. I, I know what he was talking about. I got a bad vibe off the guy. Was Swan involved? He didn't come down to AC, but I heard him mention his name. You tried asking France about this? We can't. Why not? Someone threw him out of a helicopter. Maybe this isn't about someone with a grudge against the 110. You haven't noticed it's pretty likely four of us have already been killed already. Melina said Franz was here a couple weeks ago. The guys were onto something that made them think we were all in danger. They would have called dead. About weeks later. It's true. 650 at 100K, we're talking 65 million bucks. That's a lot of black chips. Sanchez and Orozco do freelance casino security. I mean, maybe it all started with them. They stumbled onto something big. They needed I was, help. That's where I was thinking. Maybe Franz, maybe Swan. They were just involved. I guess this whole thing could be tied to gaming. I'm Ellie. I'll be your server. What can I get you? The casino's director of security. Now, please. <laughs> so, you're the <laughs> you one. You see her face? She's like, yeah. <laughs> How can I help? These numbers mean anything to you? Not offhand. What about the phrase 650 and 100K each? No. Uh, what's this all about? We think Sanchez and Orozco may have been looking into a $65 million gambling scam. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, you're for some reason I feel like I could be I trust this guy for some reason, <laughs> but I can't. Don't know for sure. At 100k per hand, that'd be incredibly high stakes. Well, it looks like all we have available is a suite. I guess that'll have to do. Come on, I'll get you guys settled in. We'll be fine at a motel. Reacher, when someone offers to comp you a suite. But this, he, yeah. he might be uh, trying something. Well, he might be some of the local, right, huh? maybe, that that guy knew. And this is, they're trying to, like, set him up in this room so they know exactly where they're going to be. They can try. Oh, that, of course. And it's going to be a crazy suite, you know that? Oh, yeah. Is that about a motel, Richard? Well, Donald and Neely found the bar. It's full of stocks. Long and packed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's such an idiot. He just taped it. <laughs> uh, uh. Had a life plan. Plans said to get married at a certain age, certain year. And then one day I see text messages on his phone. It says, hey, sweetheart, can't wait to see you Friday. I miss you and all of no. that. No one steps out on Dixon. Not even him, apparently. Text messages were from his niece who was visiting. <laughs> but... I realized that when I thought he was cheating, I was, uh, I was relieved. I don't know if you're going to spend the rest of your life with somebody, don't you want to feel something more than comfort? I mean, don't you want to feel excitement, a little... She needs a little reacher in her life, is what she's saying. Something when you see him. What about you, Neely? Every time I check my LinkedIn, you're getting promoted again. <laughs> I'm having fun. On big cases, running a team now. She really loves her cereal, huh? Huge Even got a t-shirt. I pull it off. I got a taste of that, that contract. Just didn't know anything else. And one day I was in a bar and someone plays Howlin' Wolf, singing about trains going by in the night. That sounded like real freedom to me. Are you jumping on freight trains? Like Boxcar Willie? Sometimes. <laughs> mostly I take buses or hitchhike. Cheap motels, mostly. And what if you can't find one? Unattended boats and marinas are good for a night. <laughs> Flatbeds of parked trucks. Had a great night's sleep in a hammock I spotted in some guy's backyard once <laughs> until the sprinklers went off. Good God, man. Imagine you, you like wake up and you see this giant dude in your hammock. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is insane. Like someone took the sign as a personal challenge. Doreen, I'm just warming up. <laughs> uh, big man, you gotta eat more. And he barely ever gets a good meal. Right? It's just diner food. And he walks all the time. And just kicking the shit out of people. <laughs> <laughs> all the coolest traits you could have. Numbers relax me. I figured if I was going to do math, I might as well make some walking around money. Stand. Ma'am, you're showing 10 and 8 on two of your hands. That's right. 
and I could double down and risk it all for potentially larger payout. Or Makes sense. She'd be I good at this. Maybe I have a guaranteed win because the next card out of that shoe is going to bust you. And we know your accounting cards. Which isn't illegal if you do it in your head. But seeing that your chief of security was kind enough to comp us a suite, I'll cut you some slack. You can give these tickets to the guy in the members only jacket. It looks like you would enjoy some 80s ladies. The, is that the scar, dude? Mm -hmm. The guy who's going to be dead by the end of the episode, probably. <laughs> yeah, well, I looked into starting my own nonprofit watchdog group, but startup costs are prohibitive. First step's always the hardest. Yeah. That car just scared me for some reason. <laughs> I mean, come on, Rachel. It's not like I didn't drop any hints. Yeah, right. That was your boss. Wouldn't have been right. Wow. Well, I waited years for that answer, and it's pure Reacher. <laughs> Direct, honest, and well reasoned. So, can I ask you another question? You're not my boss anymore. Yeah. What do you want to do about the two guys that are following us? Oh. I just bought them. Oh, when you left the scene. I might go over the fence. Go. Oh, well, someone's getting tossed off that. <laughs> the hell? Wet concrete? Now they're gonna know where he went. They need, they need new boots. Yeah, that he definitely needs. Unless you can rinse them off real quick. Before the fight. <laughs> or he's now got steel toe on steel. Yeah, he on did concrete. That on purpose, so now he could be hidden somewhere. True. Oh, I guess or he could just be climbing up to scaffolding. Oof. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh no way. Dude just put a cinder block through your head. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not sharp either. That's dull. You were right about that. Oh, wants a more cinder box. He's noticing the scar on his face, maybe. Face in the cement. He's gonna pull him up to ask him a question. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> kids, we just wrote our names in it. Oh, I was hoping he would leave them in there at least. This is a members only jacket guy from the casino. No ID. Let's search this asshole's car. Imagine being those workers getting up there in the morning. Oh, what fuck. What the hell? Did he savage? drown in here? What kind of savages were up here? It's like someone did their homework. Bob. With no password? What kind of guy is this? Done? Not in the way you expected. <laughs> You're fucking with the wrong guy, Reacher. <laughs> you should know that this hasn't been well for you. Then why are you the one that sounds scared? <laughs> <laughs> he had no response. Should we trace the number? This is a burner. Parking lot pass. New age technologies. Yeah. Stamped yesterday morning. I think that's what you call a clue. What do you say? New age technologies? Yeah. That's probably where Robert Patrick works. The New Jersey way. Bury him in cinder blocks. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Want to get a beer? <laughs> 
He's so enormous. I like how he slashed perfectly one of his abs. Yeah. <laughs> so big. Obnoxiously big. Oh, her boob got hit. Here, let me get that. <laughs> Uh oh, getting steamy. <laughs> He's like, thanks. <laughs> For God's sakes, I have sex already. John, the tension is annoying. You don't have to be lonely tonight. <laughs> yeah, there's there it was. There's no better time to get a move Good for him. Good for her too. She's right. actually more good for her more. Yeah. She finally got it. She's been trying for yeah. years. Wow. Luckily we got some brightness now. This is a far way off. It's only 20 miles outside Denver. From Atlantic City. Eh, stone's throw. <laughs> For Who do you think this is? Sandman guy? <laughs> it's true, probably. Sandman guy, yeah. Mm -hmm. There he is. She doesn't like him either. All 650 will be in the truck. You can track the shipment with a GPS locator I paired to this. There are at least two good ambush points marked on the route. Excellent. My men will take care of the rest. And the weapons? Truck driver won't be harmed? Of course. I would never harm anyone. <laughs> Still found some corn pops. Oh, the whole hotel heard what happened last night. Told you you were left. Who is it? Right. Clear. Come on in. I feel bad for making this dude out to be a bad guy. seem a little jumpy. Atlantic City PD told me that two more bodies have been discovered in upstate New York near where they found your other friend. Mm. Judging by the decomposition, they've been there a while. Got a copy of the police report for you. Damn, this guy was a good dude. <laughs> Orozco and Sanchez, they weren't working on anything for any of them. But when I told them about the $65 million gambling scam, they pulled their overnight audits. I did too. Everything is within acceptable loss margins. Hmm. Like no one has hit any of the casinos. You don't have anything to worry about? <laughs> Where the hell are you going? New York. We're gonna need more guns. <laughs> <laughs> guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> what a fun show this is. It's so great, man. Yeah. He's so great. Penelope. She's like, I want to watch the next one. She's like, just start it. Yeah, right. It's just so much fun. It's like, I wouldn't call it like, it's not my favorite show, but it's also like, it's, it does everything well. It's a well-rounded show. For yeah, me. I love it. It's like a, it's got him who's the best for me, obviously, I'm sure for you, the best part. Yeah. But the story's good. It's not, because there's a lot of shows that'll have a good character, but the story's eh. Yeah. This has a good story. And so far in the second season, I'm enjoying that. Um, the fights are always pretty entertaining. Yeah. They're pretty, they do some clever shit in them. Mm -hmm. The cement, that was cool. But I, I'm trying to figure out like, so Atlantic City then was just a total bust. Yeah. A mislead. Not a mislead, they but. Just, yeah, they went. Well, there was nothing there. They're just like looking. For, they were looking for whatever. And now it's all turning up, and it's all parts to New York. So time to go there. It's tough to even guess what it could be because it's all dependent. On, it's whatever business that guy Robert Patrick's doing with that the Sandman guy. Robert Patrick is T one thousand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I just call him T one thousand. Yeah, and then you stopped. I know. Well, because I 
It sounds ridiculous <laughs> to keep calling him the T-1000. That's who he is, man. Who, who he was born to be. <laughs> he was, that was... <laughs> and then they reference it in episode uh, one. I know. So it's on him now. Yeah, right. That's who he is. He knows it. Yeah. But uh, I like when he plays a bad guy. He's a good, good at it. So. You think... So... Uh, you think he's a member of the police department? You think he's like the police chief? No. I think he's the head of whatever business is behind this. They're a part of it at some at least. I think so. Well, he I mean he's calling the, it seems like he's calling the shots. Yeah, right? I know. Cause the only no, the cops the only cops that we saw so far is the one he beat up in the beginning. Yeah. And then, which is that dude's from the And what, they're too. just after him because of the body, because of Franz's body. And they're not even after him. They're just I know, but just like looking on. after him because of that. Yeah, correct. It's exactly what Reacher said. Like, they're. He thought they were. We were in their phone. F- yeah. So he was like, I, don't know, I guess I had in my head that he, that T1000 worked with the police. No, it was confusing because there were two dude. There was the cop tailing them, and then there was the. And then immediately the scar dude. after Scarface. Yeah. Scarface. <laughs> So I don't know. I think it all depends because I can't really figure out. Is it a gambling thing then? And it's just they no. haven't figured it out. No, it was just what he just oh, true, handed true. to the guy, to Sandman guy, because he was like sixty-five or six fifty. I forget what he said. No, it was sixty-five million, like scam is what he said. That was a lottery scam. But when he gave the guy the paper for like the yeah, cargo like thing, it was six fifty because the number that came up was six fifty, a hundred thousand yeah. each or a hundred k each. It's probably the 650, 100, like, kilos or something. And what was the deal with the... What was that... Who, at the end there, the Sandman guy, who, like... Something about guns. That's what I was just talking and an, about. And he gave him two ambush spots. What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. That's who I was just talking about. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, T-1000. No. But, yeah. Why would they... What does that even mean? Two ambush... Like, I mean, I get that. I get it, but, like... What are they? I don't know what they're because we don't know what that six fifty actually is. I don't know if it's like a cargo ship, and if it is, it's going to be how to, or yeah, we, it's probably the the Humvees, right? That are overloaded, whatever they're overloaded with. No, not was and it, then it's going to the be their planes. Yeah, but the planes were loaded with Humvees. Is that what they said? Yeah, All right, I, I thought I thought that's what they said. But uh, maybe whenever they're taking off, this is the route to intercept it. It's going to hijack it or something like that, you know. Maybe, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how his buddies got pulled in. Do you think they just were, like, it's exactly what he said. Like, it was like a side job that, like, one of them had. I forget which one they said it was, but then he got them pulled into it. Well, that was from that was for the lottery. No, I know, but dude, that could still apply. It could. The, the, oh, it the same to. One of them was involved. Concept in. could, yeah, but. Yeah, because they were all working on it. They were working on it together. Yeah, the three of them. So I don't know if, like, that means. And they just, they weren't aware of what was actually going on, and then they tried to bail, and that's why they got killed, maybe. Or they were just going to take him out because of what they saw, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he wants to take him out. No, because he wants to take out all the special investigators. Because even then... Well, now he, he I was, think he does, right? I don't think uh, he was originally going after maybe, all Maybe. Maybe it maybe was. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we're going to find out, buddy. Two more days. <laughs> right? Today's Wednesday, yeah. Two yeah. more days. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.